Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all doing great. I'm also doing great and it's been a long time, right? So it's me, Niha, and today I'm here with a completely new and interesting topic and that's about homophones. So at first let me tell you that what are homophones? Homophones are words that pronounce alike but different in meaning or spelling. That means they're the words that pronounce the same way but they may be spelled differently or they may be spelled the same way but the meaning is different. There are so many homophones words but today I chose some of the common ones that used frequently and people always get confused about them. So our first word is mate. You guys are probably wondering right now that which mate I'm talking about. There are two of them. One of them is M-A-D-E, mate, which is a past and past participle form of make. It can be used in many ways, but in shortly we can say it is used in a particular place or way. And the other is M-A-I-D, maid, which is a female domestic servant. It means a woman working as a servant in a hotel or in a person's home. And now our next word is one. There are two of them. First is O-N-E, one, which is a number. It is the lowest cardinal number. And the other is W-O-N, which is a past and past participle form of win. There are two pronunciations of this word. First is the way I'm pronouncing it right now, one, and the other is one. But you know here I chose the first one because I had to, because here I'm talking about homophones, right? And it goes with them. So now let's move on. Uh, our next word is peace. There are two of them. One of them is P-E-A-C-E, -E, peace. It is used to mean lack of conflict, such as war, and freedom from fear of violence between individuals or groups. It just means freedom from disturbance. And the other is P-I-E-C-E, -E, peace. It means a part of something, or you can say a portion of an object or material produced by cutting, tearing, or breaking. Now our next word is plain. There are two of them. One of them is P-L-A-I-N, plain. It means lowlands, land which is low compared with other higher lands. It's just a large flat surface. And the other is P-L-A-N-E, plain, which means an airplane or a flat surface or a tool for shaving wood. Now the last word that we have is spelled the same way but the meaning and the pronunciation is different. It's live or life. It's confusing, right? So if we are using it as to indicate to be alive or have a life or to remain alive, to continue, to survive, etc., then we're going to pronounce it as live. And if we are using it as in a broadcast or on a radio show, then we're going to pronounce it as life. So I hope you get that. So that's it. No more today. See you next time. Bye-bye.